This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, own boy Josh, back at you, and today we're taking a look at this guy. This is the Vaporesso Aurora Starter Kit. Kind of looks like a Zippo. More than kind of like the classic Zippo. I mean, it's modeled exactly, exactly after the classic Zippo. It even says so on the back. It says the Aurora Starter Kit is a tribute to the classic lighter. They just call it lighter. They don't actually use the word Zippo, but it's a Zippo. This ain't no Bic. This is Zippo. Motherfucker. Hear that? Oh. One thing that I used to absolutely love about smoking cigarettes when I was a cigarette smoker was getting a brand new lighter. I mean, one of the first gifts that Waffles ever gave me was this blue iridescent lighter that had one of our nicknames for each other on there. And I pretty, I'm pretty sure I still have it somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but if I had to put hands on it, I could probably find it. Probably find it. But, I mean, I've had it all these years. It's gotta be somewhere. I can't find it right now. Anyway, <laughs> I've got other things to do. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I still have it. And these things, they're built to last forever. I mean, I can tell you that the, the metal, the metal on this vape product is exactly like the metal that you'll find on a Zippo lighter. I mean, it's got the same classic sound. I mean, that same shink and the click that you get when you open and close it. I used to love doing tricks with these. Like I would open them up, close them like that. Just like that all the freaking time. I used to do that constantly on my, on my leg mainly, but I still love being able to open it, light my cigarette, and then close it just like that. It works the same exact way. The proportions, everything about it, it feels like a Zippo lighter. They come in various designs. Mine has a little Indian dude with a skull on the front. It says Vaporesso underneath. And it's got a little LED indicator underneath. On the side, you've got your tank and you can see your, your juice level from there. So it makes it very easy for you to keep track of where you are with your vape. It's got a mouthpiece built in right here. And eh, I'm kind of for and against this mouthpiece. I understand that it's convenient to be able to sort of flip it out like this and vape on it or turn it this way and vape it and then you have to go like that and close it back up. I kind of wish there was a way that I could use my own drip tips. That would be really cool. Like this with a short stout little drip tip and I can just like that, that would be awesome. But as it is, it's just got the one built-in drip tip like this and it's like this weird curvy neck kind of thing to it and you gotta like that. Now, I will tell you that filling this thing can kind of be a bitch sometimes, or taking the tank out can kind of be a bitch sometimes, because when you go to take out the tank, when you're ready to change the coil, this thing doesn't always pop out easy. It's magnetized. The tank is in here magnetically, which is really cool by design. It makes it really easy to put the tank in there and for it to stay there, but when it comes time to take the tank out, well, it can kind of be a bitch. Sometimes you can just sort of use the drip tip and pull it out and it'll just come. Sometimes you gotta take your teeth to it. It gets the job done though. Comes with a spare coil in the box and it's loose enough that you can kind of use the blister pack corner to unscrew the existing coil, just like so. There's no markings on the coil itself as to what it ohms out to, but you can be assured it's going to be a pretty high ohm coil. I would say it's probably something like a 1.5 ohm, 2 ohm coil, something like that. This is a 1.2 milliliter tank and it's going to be tight. It's going to be for the, your mouth to lung vapor. It's going to be for someone that's just getting into vaping. And I think that that's the idea behind designing it to look like a lighter. You know, something a little bit removed from the standard Sigalike that delivers a Sigalike style uh, sort of vape for a newbie vapor. Or someone that just really likes a good tight, tight mouth to lung hit, one or the other. Now it's definitely one of those devices that's going to work better with, you know, high PG, low VG, something that you can put in, you know, a starter mouth to lung device. Sadly, probably the best thing that I have is a 7525. I don't know if that's going to work. <laughs> we'll try it, see what happens. 
So to fill this thing, you actually have to take it out of the whole fucking setup array. You have to take this out, unscrew the freaking coil, which is going to be soggy as fuck. It's going to be messy, people. It's going to be messy. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Then you got to fill in this tiny little thing just like this. I think we're just going to stop right there. Yeah, so you can fill it about that far. Like three, two thirds of the way. Yeah, two thirds of the way full. And then you got to take your soggy coil and affix it back on there. I don't like that, man. I don't like that very much. Not at all, honestly. I think that it could be done a smarter way so Newbie Vapor doesn't have to pull that out and get his fingers all wet, changing out, whatever, that way. But that's just me. I suppose when you're working with that compact a space, there's not a whole lot of options to fill it. I think there could have been a fill method from the bottom. I think that may have worked better. Now, I'm not the best at mouth to lung hits. Not the best at it at all. So, if I gurgle, I'm sorry. Yeah, gurgle. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. Maybe take off the drip tip, shake it out a bit. Like that a couple times? I don't know. <laughs> the flavor's not bad, actually. For what it is for, you're just a starter. It's getting a little warm. For starter vape like this, the flavor is not bad. I think I got the hang of it. I think I can do mouth to lung again. Sweet. Yeah, hey, no, no gurgling that time. Sweet. I just need to break the coil in a little bit. In addition to the spare coil, it comes with a micro USB for charging. Plugs into the back right over here at the bottom. So it's it's really handy because, you know, it sits flat on pretty much anything. So it's not falling or anything like that. I dig that as well. Um, it's a lot easier than, you know, a Sigalike. Because a Sigalike, you got to lay it flat. You got to do whatever with it. And with this, it's it's almost like having like a... I wouldn't call it a box mod. I was about to call it a box mod. I wouldn't call it a box mod. It's a fucking Zippo, a Zippo-like lighter. Zippo-like lighter? Zippo-like? Lighter-like? <laughs> anyway, even has venting built into the bottom. I gotta say it's a decent vape once you get it working for you. If you're a mouth to lung style vapor or a newbie just starting out, you might like this as opposed to, you know, the Sigalike style sort of devices out there. I vape this on a regular basis. Probably not. It's not my style of vaping, but I respect it for what it is. You know, it is a starter kit made for newbie vapors with, you know, sort of the novelty of it behaving just like a classic Zippo lighter. I think that's cool. I think that the idea behind, you know, something comfortable like that for someone moving away from you know, being a cigarette smoker to being, you know, the beginnings of becoming a vapor and having something comfortable like a Zippo to sort of cling to while you're making that transition can be helpful. Absolutely. Not to mention, I like that it's simple. You know, it's a simple device because there's no buttons. There's nothing to mess with. It's just take a pull and it automatically activates as you're taking a pull, which is perfect for a newbie. Someone that doesn't want to mess with anything, just wants something simple.
But I gotta say the extended pull, you know, when it just sets it off and it keeps firing like that, after you've stopped pulling on it, that takes me back. <laughs> it takes me back to when I first started vaping and I was using, you know, SIGA-like devices like that and they would keep firing after I stopped pulling on them. That's why I like manual, man, manual batteries versus automatic batteries. I never thought I'd be having that conversation again. Yeah, I definitely prefer, you know, manual with a button on a starter kit rather than, you know, just take a pull. That's just me, you know. Um, but I feel like I started on automatic and I feel like that's probably the best way to go for someone just starting out. But I quickly moved away from automatic to manual when I first started vaping. I just, you know, I enjoyed the control a little bit better. So a couple things that need attention on this device, you know, the fill mechanism could use a little bit of work. I don't like having to take out the whole thing, fill in the bottom, unscrew the, the coil at the bottom, fill it from there. Find a way that I can fill it from the side or find a way that I can fill it from the bottom without having to remove that. Please, that would be great. And the other thing is the automatic firing mechanism needs a little bit of tweaking because it definitely likes to keep firing after I've taken my lips away from it. It does seem to get a little bit warm. You know, I was kind of chain vaping, but yeah, it does seem to get a little bit warm if you're chain vaping it a bit. Still going, still going, still going. <laughs> this mouthpiece, I don't know if I'm vaping or playing the saxophone. Every damn time. That's the Aurora starter kit from Vaporesso. Till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on vapors.